I am uh, Lieutenant Colonel Chris Knights from the Missile Defense Agency. I am the program manager for the CONUS Interceptor site being conducted by the Missile Defense Agency. Okay. So you're here in Battle Creek. You invited people for a public scoping mission uh, or, or public scoping session where they can come get their questions answered. Is there something you would like people to know about this project? Yes, the reason that we're here is that we're soliciting the public's comments on the environmental aspects of this proposed action uh, for the Battle Creek area. And this is, again, one of four locations that the Missile Defense Agency is investigating. And this system uh, would be used only in the nation's defense. Uh, so if any missiles or interceptors were fired from this location, it would be because someone is firing at us. So is there anything to worry about necessarily? We've heard people talk about, well, do these, does the system really work? What do you say about that? Uh, yes, sir. The system does work. Uh, in our last intercept test on June 22nd, we had a successful intercept, and it was the Missile Defense Agency's longest time of flight and the highest closing velocity uh, to date. So that's a huge success. And the system is safe, and it is effective because the, uh, the system does not have any warheads on the interceptors themselves. It is a pure hit-to-kill technology, basically hitting a bullet with a bullet in outer space. Should this project come to Battle Creek, what's the upside for the military here? Well, the upside for the military is that we're investigating a possibility of 12 to 1,800 permanent jobs here, and that's going to include both military, Department of Defense civilians, and Department or uh, contractor civilians as well. Thank you, sir.